So before we get started, I wanted to mention that I was going to release this video much earlier, but then decided to scrap the entire audio track and start fresh. And I did this for a couple of reasons. One, because I'm still trying to establish a tone for this channel. And two, because I found myself saying shit like, okay, so I'm gonna switch gears and talk about blah, 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 whatever. And yes, this is how a lot of us talk when we deliver presentations, but no, it's not how I talk in real life. And if you talk like this in real life, then fuck you. All right, let's get started. Ah, uh -huh, yes, travel. That thing we used to do, you know. Before the dark times. Now, travel has often been seen as a key part of consulting. And as we start to get back to the airways, I thought it'd be helpful to make a video about some of the accessories that have drastically improved my quality of life when traveling for work. So the first travel accessory I want to recommend is a Tide Pen. For those of you who don't know, a Tide Pen is a stain remover that looks kind of like a marker. And you rub them on stains and it helps prevent them from permanently ruining your clothes. I think this is a must have for travel because this thing has saved me so many shirts. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but sometimes I feel like no matter how careful I am, my clumsy ass is always gonna find some way to splash coffee on my shirt or sleeve. Or sometimes the shitty coffee lid is loose and spills all over the place when you try to take it out of your car. And then other times I'll check my clothes at the end of the day and I'll have some sort of mystery dot or stain on my shirt. Whatever the case, I count this one as one of the must haves for anyone who travels regularly. All right, so this one might be obvious, but the next thing I wanna recommend for professionals on the go is a book bag. Yeah, no, but not like the one you wore in high school, but like a nice book bag with lots of compartments. I'd recommend looking for a bag with enough compartments to separate things like chargers and other accessories. Now, it should be noted that some firms will actually frown upon you wearing book bags around the client site. Like, you can use them to carry your stuff, especially on travel days, but some might view walking around a client site with a book bag as somewhat unprofessional. Ideally, you'd want to bring a separate laptop bag to use while you're at the client site. But for flying and ease of access, I highly recommend a nice sturdy backpack. Okay, so quick side note, speaking of things that are frowned upon, basically everything you do at a client site is heavily reliant upon optics. So some leaders might have an issue with people, especially junior staff, wearing Rolexes or carrying expensive handbags to the client site. A general recommendation here is to keep things low key, even if they're really nice, but I'll leave that to you to decide what that means. Okay, moving on. Another carrying accessory I highly recommend is a small pouch for cables. You can find these on Amazon for pretty cheap and they'll come with elastic bands to organize the various cables you have. These days, I usually carry around quite a few cables and accessories just in case, like HDMI cables, USB wall chargers, and a few extra USB-C and iPhone cables. It's usually a good idea to carry around charging cables for phones that you don't necessarily use yourself. This way, you can still add value to your team, even if your work doesn't. One of the most useful pieces of tech to have for traveling professionals is a good set of act noise canceling earbuds. Not only are these great for flights, but they're really nice for drowning out chatter in the team room when you're trying to pump out some slides that are due to be presented in 15 minutes. Now, most folks will probably already have a pair of AirPod Pros, which definitely get the job done. But if you're looking for something other than Samsung or Apple, because supposedly both of those work better on their respective platforms, Bose QuietComfort and Sony WF-1000XM3s are both pretty good alternatives. The only thing I would recommend against is wearing over-the-ear headphones to a client site. Even if they have some kind of transparency setting, it can give off the impression that you're not listening, even if you are. Over-the-ear headphones can be vastly superior to earbuds and are great for flights, but might be bad for optics at a client site. Another useful tech accessory to have around is a power bank. This can really come in handy when you need to charge your phone, but there aren't any outlets and you can't afford to use up your precious laptop battery. Ideally, you'd want one that could charge your phone at least twice over, so look for one that's at least 10,000 milliamp hours with fast charging ports. You can find fairly slim and affordable ones on Amazon, but you can go for a 20,000 milliamp hour one if you're really not opposed to carrying around a real chunky boy. Now, the last tech accessory I wanted to recommend is a nice, reliable wireless mouse. Now, I know some folks will frown upon the idea of using Excel with a mouse, but let's be honest, Excel isn't the only thing we do all day, so it's really helpful for most people to have a nice, comfortable wireless mouse on hand for travel. Personally, I use a Razer Naga Wireless Pro mouse, and I've really been meaning to do a full review on it. But a quick rundown of the features are that it has both a 2.4 gigahertz wireless via dongle and a Bluetooth mode, which can be used with any Bluetooth capable laptop. Also, it has three swappable base plates, which you can store shortcuts and macros on. Lastly, its battery life is fantastic. It fits my hand really well. I've been gaming for years on Razer products, but I waited a long time to buy this because of the price, but boy, was it worth it. 
The next item I wanted to talk about is often overlooked, especially by younger, more junior consultants, and that is a notebook and a set of reliable pens. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Pilot G2s. A lot of leaders will actually frown upon you taking notes with a laptop, especially when interviewing a client face-to-face. -face. Whether you use a notebook or a tablet to take notes on, it's much more engaging to a client and allows for you to make a lot more eye contact. Now, I went through all of grad school taking notes on OneNote, but when I entered consulting, I had my senior manager pull me aside one day and ask me to ditch the laptop and go with a pen and paper. Sometimes leaders won't even do you the courtesy of telling you that they find taking notes on a laptop off-putting. But if there is a preference, it's usually favorable to take notes on a notebook or tablet without a screen between you and whomever you're speaking with. Maybe this preference will start to die out as younger, more tech-savvy consultants move into leadership roles, but as of right now, it's definitely the preference of most leaders. So the last item I wanted to talk about, which to me is an absolute essential for travel, is lots and lots of Xanax ibuprofen. Not only is it great for hangovers, ibuprofen is great for headaches induced by staring at a computer screen so long that you think PowerPoint is lying to you when it says two shapes are the same size when you could swear one looks slightly bigger than the other. Honestly, an absolute lifesaver. So don't forget to pack this one before you go off to whatever godforsaken project you get staffed on next. So that's it for this list of travel accessories. This is by no means a comprehensive list, just some important ones I feel like have made a profound impact on my quality of life. If there's anything that you think is a must have for traveling for work, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.